Cheap Ship from China, part two. Sifting through the turds. Okay, these are the Jiro cycling socks on Amazon. They're 15 bucks. It's expensive. I've seen socks for 25 bucks in the store. I'll tell you what, I'm not paying 25 bucks. Um, these things cost less than $2 to make. So that's the product. And here you can see the details of the seams. And, uh, you know, if you want to manufacture your stuff in China, guess what? It's going to get knocked off, especially cycling goods, uh, soft goods, I mean. And uh, here we go, eBay, 544 Canadian. These are the exact same thing, and I'm going to show you that you can get a decent uh, buy on here when it comes to something like a sock. But, hey, you want to manufacture over there, there's no copyright laws, and... Um, it's going to get uh, undersold and there's all sorts of articles on New York Times and Forbes and you can do your own research and read for yourself if it's keeping you up at night but I'm pretty much over it so I'm just going to blast through this video here quickly. right so here's a few socks um, I thought I had a brand new set of these but I can't find it so I'm just going to show you this one I've, I think I've washed it once it's actually pretty good quality it's just a little I don't know coarser feeling But, you know, for three bucks, you can't go wrong. These are a little higher quality, the, these the Giro ones. I don't know. They look exactly like the um, regular ones, and they feel pretty good. These were a bit more money than the Castelli-type ones. These come with no packaging. And actually, I think these were from eBay, and they came pretty quickly. So I've got nothing bad to say about this. You're basically just buying it from the company that's making it for Giro and you're getting it without retail packaging and you can see whatever it says there 2018 and yeah I have nothing bad to say about it this particular area though you know that will be a weak spot in the sock but even on the uh, authentic product It appears to be that way too but yeah I got no problems with these I think they're pretty good but again like I said when you're dealing with China there's always the risk that you're not going to get the product or it's not going to come you know as described or or listed I've got a set of uh, cycling shorts I want to show you something on so this is the uh, Chinese blue pad this has got to be the all-time dumbest marketing campaign I've ever seen in all my life what kind of a brainiac puts a farting cloud coming out of your blue padded cycling shorts? This has about a thousand kilometers on it and it is just toast. And um, what's happened is these stupid perforations have opened up. The foam is dissolved here. This gel pad um, its basically dissolved and opened up and it causes pressure points and it's quite a quite a sore spot um, after 35 K you're dying of agony um, they're fine for short rides and they're fine for like I said about 20 wash cycles 25 wash cycles and they just break down um, there are a couple different versions of these blue pads old China blue here the good the bad and the ugly it's a comparison of the shorts you can see this one here the old bait and switch gel pad is not in it if it is it's very thin in the bottom you can see the hole is further down than this one this has a bigger gel pad but after about 20 wash cycles this is what happens completely disintegrated the foam is eroded this will cause pressure points and saddle sores like you wouldn't believe it is a serious gong show. Um, you know, if you press through, you can see that is a serious issue for the old Heine. Originally, I was flirting with the idea of making a custom brand or a few jerseys for a buddy, but uh, you know, it didn't work out with these guys, and uh, no harm really, just some wasted time and back and forth. 
Um, but since then I have met a Wicked guy, uh, Hong from Loka, and he's got a really good product and I'm going to review it and show you what it's all about next time. And for now I'm going to leave you with a few clips from our rides. Hope you'll subscribe and keep in touch. Bye for now. I want to hit the bridge so hard.